Hi, I'm Julie with Z-Gear and I'm going to show you how to add the extension kit to your current BCD mount. In the package you're going to get um, the links and a new curly leash. So the curly leash you're going to replace your um, other leash that you got with this mount and you're going to just add the curly leash to the GoPro pin and then put that aside for later when we add the camera. It's a little bit hard to get on there because we did that on purpose to make it nice and tight so there's your pin. So what you're going to do on your BC is you're going to take this mount off of here and you need to loosen up the bottom clamp. So you need to loosen that up and then you need to spin the arm. So this arm needs to go over here in that angle, just like that, because we're going to add the links and that is where you want it to be so that it comes out in front of you. So the most important part of reinstalling these clamps is to make sure that you have them seated properly. And they like to move around when you're doing this. So it just takes a little bit of finger muscle to keep them in the proper place. And then just have to tighten them down. Okay, so that one's tight. So then you're gonna loosen up the clamp closest to the elbow. Just loosen that up and then pop off the elbow and then snap on your links for the extension kit. Again, make sure this clamp is seated properly. You can tell because it doesn't really move, but it is hard to hold, so you just have to figure out, because now it just moved on me, but if you tighten it up a little, then you can kind of get it back into position, and you just gotta make sure that it's totally seated in there properly. Now you're going to add the elbow back to the other end. Make sure this clamp is all the way loose, otherwise it doesn't like to go in there. So snap that in, and then I always just kind of hold it so I know where I'm clamping that down, and then make sure that's seated properly. It's pretty easy. Now you can um, put it back on your BC. I know at home you're not going to have a mannequin to do this, but you can just do it, you know, either on another person or just by itself. So there, that's how you want it to look, and then you're just going to play with the angle, and then tilt this up, and then we're going to add the GoPro. So secure your GoPro on there, and then the leash is the um, other important part because to keep this from flopping up when you're entering the beach or something, we want to, oh there's that pin I was looking for, we want to put this down here. So clip it to your the farthest D-ring that you can and it kind of keeps it from flopping up. See if you clip it up here, it's not really doing anything to keep it from moving. So if you have this D-ring or if you even have one a little bit farther down, it does help steady the camera. And then you just have to angle it and turn it on and pretty much forget it because it's going to go wherever your chest goes during, during your dive. Now if you wear your mount on the left side, you will have to spin the GoPro around so that it um, fits on there properly so you can angle it back all the way otherwise you won't be able to angle your camera back that's if you want to wear it on the left side if you want to wear it on the right side it should already be set up because um, you've been wearing it on the right so now I'm going to continue the video but I'm going to do a close-up so that you can see how the clamps are do are to be um, properly seated okay so now I'm going to show you how to do everything I just did on the mannequin up close so first you're going to take this clamp and loosen it up. Now it's going to be spun this direction and the angle might not be exactly perfect because I don't have my mannequin to or my BC to actually look at but it's at an angle that direction. So now you, this is where you want to tighten this clamp so it likes to move around, so you have to just really hold this in position so that it stays nice and flat in there. 
and you just kind of got to figure out how it's going to work for you. See, I got to put my thumb above it, I think. There you go. I just want to make sure that it's on there straight. So tighten that down. Then you're going to loosen up the clamp closest to the elbow. So that's this one. And listen to the helicopters fly over. Now you're going to pop the extension kit on to the mount and then tighten that clamp. This one is a little bit easier to tighten for some reason. It doesn't move quite as much. So just have to make sure that it stays in there properly. Now, this one I already pre-loosened, but you would loosen this one. It should come completely loose when you get it in the package. And then you just pop. Nope, it's not loose enough. See, it's not loose. It won't pop in there. There, once you know it's loose, if it pops in easily. If it doesn't, that means it's not loose enough. So now you have to make sure that it's, you don't want it crooked. You don't want it crooked like that. It totally seats. You know when it's seated properly, you can feel it. And they do start to move around a little bit when you're, so you just gotta hold it into place. There, like so. So now the mount is pretty much ready to go except I made that a little bit too tight and didn't check my angle so you would just loosen this up and then rotate your GoPro angle up which you can do after you have this installed then just tighten this back up so now your mount is perfectly straight there you go